some of your favorite memories from all your years competing as a pro what are the say two or three moments that really stand out in your mind um man I, i've had so many great ones yeah. um you know getting to meet arnold like and, and i and I'm, i've i've got the like kick it with arnold a couple of times not like going out or nothing but just in those close quarters backstage at the arnold classic you know i've seen him out a couple of times he always <laughs> recognized me i remember one time the first time i ever went to venice mm -hmm. so we went to gold's gym, venice and then we went to uh to gold's gym uh joe gold's he was still alive uh so we go over to that gym and we're training and uh i see arnold in the gym so arnold's at the water fountain and i come down and so I, I had just got a uh, one of my first magazine spreads, and Arnold was in it. So I went and grabbed my magazine, and so Arnold would sign it. And uh, so Arnold signed it for me, and we, you know, talked and back and forth because I had met him at the Arnold, uh, you know, backstage at the at the Arnold at the show. And uh, so a bunch of other people came up to ask him for an autograph or a picture or whatever. And he was like, "No, later after the pump." It was just <laughs> after the <laughs> it pump. Was just <laughs> I love it. After it was the just pump. hilarious. You know, he took his time with yeah, me, yeah. and I wasn't laughing at the other people. But what I'm saying is, the way he, the way he told him to wait, it was hilarious to me. It was just <laughs> one of the a really cool time. Another time, I was backstage with Arnold, and uh, so we were walking past his his dressing room. You know, I, and I gave him the head nod or whatever, and he, you know, gave me the head nod back. And this one, he was still governor, so he had like all those guards and stuff back there. So I walk in there fist bump him and grab one of his drinks out of his, you know, he has like this bowl of ice with drinks in it. And the and the guy was going to stop me. And then he told it, he was like, no, nah, no, nah, he's cool. So that was just <laughs> moments like that. You know, yeah. me going to Joe Weider's house. I turned pro in 2002. Ronnie was going to eat lunch with Joe and he invited me to go with him. So we go over Joe's house and we're sitting there at the table, mm. me, Joe and Ronnie, you know, in his, uh, at his house and on his, in his, um, in his little garden in the back. And Joe's telling us these stories and he told us, he said, you know, he said, he said, Tony and Ronnie, you know, you guys, you and Arnold are the only three pros in the history of bodybuilding that's ever been to my house. I oh. thought that was oh, really? pretty, wow. pretty amazing. Wow, so house. those, those, those moments like that, when you know yeah. you have arrived, in other mm. words, you know what I'm saying? Like winning the titles is cool. That was awesome. You know, 08 Olympia. Uh, I mean, even, even uh, when I won uh, the Ironman the first time mm -hmm. I was, um, I was, the, you know, yeah, after yeah. prejudging, in between prejudging and the finals, we take a break, and I was leaving out, and we it was um, it was several officials, but I remember it was uh, what's what's our, what's the 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 editor, um, Peter McGuff, the writer, Peter McGuff, Peter yeah, McGuff, Peter yeah. McGuff, and uh, a bunch of people were standing out there. So I walk out the door, and Peter's like, "Oh, good, you're leaving. Now give somebody else a chance." Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs>